Hello, friends. Right on time, as always. Yeah, yes. I mean, for us. That's true. As right on time. I had to make pizza, so I'm sure you can all understand the importance of that. Dolphin! Hello, my favorite dolphin! You've been playing so much Final Fantasy lately. How are you? I, this is where I usually make the joke of, but if it's the final one, how is you st But then, you know, everyone's made that joke whenever they... People who aren't, like, actual fans of Final Fantasy will be like, Oh, this is the final Fantasy, how is it the 13th one? Yeah, we all know. We all know. I'm doing all right, Dolphin. I had a, a, a stressful day. A friend of mine uh, had, a, had a rough day, so to speak. And uh, so the rest of us have been worried about her uh, trying to trying to help out with the situation or, you know, see what we can do to help. But it's fine. It's it's it's, it's we, we're good at this point. But aside from that, it was a very nice day. I had a productive day working on some stuff for this thing I'm doing in March. Can't complain. Can't complain. Oh, we should do like well, I mean, you could. You're right. I absolutely could complain, but I'm not going to because I'm I'm having having a pretty solid day. Now we get to stream with with, with my favorite brother. And I my really? favorite he I guess I, did he show up? I mean, I guess technically it's also my least favorite brother, because as, as there well, it know, is. you're my only brother, so you fill all variants of that spectrum, I feel, is the I, situation. I have a very uh, a robust, um, I have a very robust um, resume, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think so. So. I think so. Yeah. Oh, we shouldn't do intro. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Pirate Savage. And Dover. <laughs> you are on deck, where we're going to play Settle the Multiverse uh, tonight, which is Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to make Dover say the PSA stuff while I have pizza. Okay, well, I can do that. Uh, I mean, I have noodles, so maybe I should eat these noodles while you're eating the pizza. We'll just let these people enjoy us having dinner. I mean... Long story short, don't be a jerk, is the situation. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, handle operable civil rights for everyone and as being as inclusive as possible. Any comments or activity actively working against that goal is not welcome and will not be tolerated. Should I continue on? Knock once for yes. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> you are watching Handle Opera Games, in case you didn't know. You can follow us at Handle Opera on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And Handle Opera Games, Handle Opera Games, right here on Twitch. If you'd like to see more of me, Pirate Savvy, you can find me on my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash pirate savvy and you can otherwise find me at twitter at twitter.com slash pirate savvy uh, sentinels of the multiverse is currently available for steam via ios android pc mac and linux as well as good old analog cardboard and ink you can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com dolphin was gonna do the intro the whole time we could have sat here and eaten and dolphin could have done it that would have been oh. ugh, the best plan ever you know I don't have many regrets in my life. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the... That's good, though. But that's actually a bold-faced lie. I have, like, you know... You're you know, like, some people have 99 problems. <laughs> so, um... I think the reason we tried to do all the uh, Freedom 5 stuff last week was because... Was it last week, two weeks ago? Whatever. Was it because we were in like Freedom Five, Freedom Five number one or something. So we felt it was yeah. appropriate. Uh, however, little did we know that it was going to be a cluster F of uh, <laughs> trying to do anything and desperately struggling to survive. It's probably fine, but we 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 it's fine. <laughs> Listen, we set up, we we did some stuff last week, um, but. I hate you so much. Look, Savvy, you knew. You're right. I, like, set the pins up. What were you going to not do? Knock them down? Um, it's true. So, hello, Sprockets. We, hey, um, Sprockets. Have, we have... We're, we have options uh, for anybody... Uh, you guys all know this, but we're trying to work our way some, through some of the variant unlocks uh, to get the achievements on the Steam, like you do. So we have... Skinwalker Gloomweaver, 
Trickster Kismet, and Heroic Infinitor. So, those are that. Or, you know, we can try to do some of the... Uh, what is Other what stuff. is the thing for... I'm going to say that I don't have the patience for Infinitor tonight, but <laughs> that only applies if his unlock means that we have to actually play against him. Do which I, I'm assuming we do. We do. It says, defeat Infinitor with damage dealt by a construct. Con Captain Cosmic must be the first hero, and no heroes may be incapacitated. Each different manifestation must enter play at least once. That sounds complicated. Hmm. <laughs> I, 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 I'm inclined to agree with Sprockets. Also, Sprockets, note that. Note that. I'm going to have to use that. <laughs> uh, then the trickster kismet is when we have to lose the game against her lose a game against regular kismet in the block with at least knife the argent adept and fanatic on the team over the course of the game the talisman must spend more full turns in hero play areas than full turns in the villain play area okay well I, I think we might be able to pull that one off I mean if we just completely ignore everything else and just keep the talisman in our play area, I don't see how that's... Like, I don't see how we can win! <laughs> uh, you know what? This is starting to feel a little too much like the producers. <laughs> Where did we go right? Where did we go right? Um, but also... I think it says the talisman must spend more full turns in the hero play areas. So I assume, like, each hero turn counts. Like, so if we have three heroes and it stays in our play area, where does it only count the heroes that has it in their play area? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, is it every hero turn that it's in any hero's play area, or only the hero that has it in their play area's turn counts. I'm but... gonna say that just in in the hero's plural play area. Okay. So it should be <laughs> so it should be pretty easy. Why would I say that out loud? I don't know. All right. Super Let's... easy. Barely an inconvenience. Right? Okay, so we need regular Kismet. Where are you at, girl? There you are. Semi Saint Cloud. Uh, regular Kismet in the in the block. Jenny from the block. I will not be fooled. Okay, then we need knife. You can't get fooled again. Argent adept and fanatic. I am comfortable with pretty much all of so those. Less so just, with knife. So just that party though, or it, well, can we says, have more? It says we can have more. It says uh, lose a game against regular Kismet in the block with at least knife the Argent Adept, and Fanatic on a team. Uh, on the team. Over the course of the game, the Talisman must spend more full turns in the hero play areas than full turns in the villain play area. Alright, well, let's... Okay, Knife, Argent Adept. We could take, like, Haka or Skyscraper, too, to help murder us faster. <laughs> That's, uh, that is true. <laughs> And to facilitate that self-murdering, I, I would suggest bringing in uh, Legacy as we usually do. Okay. Although we will not have him use any of his defensive stuff. Uh, He's so offensive. I can play him if you want. And then... I, I'm i fine with playing... I mean, any of the other three. If there's some you are preferred to play, that's fine. Uh, I'm let's say, least uh, familiar with Knife. You can take Fnatic. I'll take uh, Pretty Boy and uh, Kniffy. Sounds good to me. All right, so Knife, Fnatic, are Adept, and we just need to make sure that the Talisman is on our side for the most part. Yes. All right, so let's let's do this. And then not win. Well, yeah, I I could do that. <laughs> we we can do that in spades. Uh, okay. Uh, poor little lost heroes. 
poor lost little heroes. It looks like your luck has just run out. I can't. Word. We fight this. We fight liberty just today. Something, something. Something, something. Liberty just. Like he's got so like bored with being the front <laughs> hero that he's just like. He's just like not. He's phoning in his uh. <laughs> Something, 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 justice, something, 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 liberty. Liberty, oh, liberty, lip. Hey, the talisman, we need that. <laughs> we fight today just for ice. Probably. Um, I assume this is something that's hitting everybody. Likely. The end of the turn the top something about the whatever. That's fine. We don't need to read. We're trying to lose. That's right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Inconceivable. What? I, I, hold on. The card she just played. Inconceivable obstruction. Each time Kismet would be dealt damage, deal or reveal the top card of the environment deck. If it is a target, put it into play and redirect the damage to it. If it is not, discard it. I love this card with the shark coming out of the ground. He's like, what? Okay, the talisman. When flipped to this side, restore this card to seven and put... Oh, come back. In the villain play area. This card is indestructible. We're reduced to zero or fewer hit points. Flip this card. Okay, so when flipped to the side, restore this card to seven hit points and put it in front of the hero with the highest hit points. This card is indestructible. We're reduced to zero or fewer hit points. Flip this card. So the hero, uh, the hero, this card is in front of gains the following power. Feel the top of your okay. I feel like can we heal this? So like, if something is attacking it, we can heal it. Once it's on our side, uh, I don't think, I don't think we have any. Well, I guess we do kind of have a healer or something in the. Like, I don't think. Well, Arjun, I'm not sure that know. we can target it with heals. And I don't think it's a heroic target, so I don't think any of. <laughs> Dolphin. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put out lead from the front because that seems like a good one. Galvanize! Here you go. How about it? Who doesn't love a good galvanizing? Okay, let's see here. Um... Lifeline probably doesn't. You know what? You're not wrong. Fanatic, what do we got? Uh, Ages of Resurrection. Oh, who needs that? Start of every turn, you may. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm playing this. Do yeah, it. I'm doing it. We need this. All right, <laughs> so. Perfect. <laughs> I like in one turn, Fanatic was like, give us me. Who has it? Uh, uh legacy Fanatic has it. Or wait. It goes to the hero with the highest hit points. So yeah, Legacy's, legacy's got, it. got it. Okay, cool. Cool. So that was not a full hero turn. So in the so you're saying no. so we think So this will be the first hero turn. Was it even in her play area for a full turn? In uh Kismet's, I mean? Wait, wait. I don't think it was because she 
played it the first turn, and she hasn't had a turn since then, so I think it'll be us one, her zero, right? Okay, wait. It wasn't... Kismet God, I don't know if that first... Hold on a minute, let me... It says no, a... We wouldn't know, because it doesn't keep track of that sort of thing in the game. No, but um... it says the Talisman must spend more full turns in the hero play areas multiple than full turns in the villain play area. And I don't think it was in her play area for a full turn. So, we have one and she has zero right now. Well, wait. Uh... I don't know if her turn counts, but there was Legacy, there was Argent Adept, Fanatic is where it switched, and now it's Knife's turn. So okay. technically it's two, if not three, full turns for her and only one for us Okay, so far. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. Okay, well, let's get, let's get a little tally sheet out. Or, or are you already on that? Uh, I'll get that. I'll, I'll sure, do the thing. I, I'm, I'm already mid grabbing paper, so it's up to you. We can both do it. Okay, so. Okay, so that was nice turn, the environment turn, and now her turn. And now it is Legacy's turn, so... Does the environment... Yeah, I guess it would count. It's just as full turns. Yep, full turns. Okay. Oh no, Fallen, don't do it! So, um... It's gonna do it, alright. It, it, it already did it. Yeah, so we said Legacy... Art and Adept, and then Fnatic it switched, and then we had... Knife... Environment kismet. Okay, I know you're also doing this, but I just I don't know. I wanna I wanna help. Alright, um Help! 26, help! 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 Help, I need help. Should I take down and make her not be able to play cards? Of course that's not gonna <laughs> What? <laughs> I can't speak food and mouth speech. <laughs> I'm like staring blankly at you. I okay. <laughs> uh, you know how I love attention. I do. Maybe. Next evolution. Yeah, maybe maybe play takedown. Just to. Maybe not for offensive purposes, like just allowing us to attack her more, just for the purpose of, hey, the talisman's spending more turns with us. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'd like to sort of beef up our situation. If anything, we can use this time to you know, like smack each other around a little bit to lower our hit points for the time when we need her to beat us. Yeah. Uh... I'll just galvanize, like always, unless you think I should use the talisman for some reason. Nope, we're good. Okay. Easy peasy, galvan easy. Did you see how I mispronounced galvanize to make it work with the rhyme? I did. That was very clever. I'm a genius. Never let anybody tell you differently. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put that out there. Um... Form of a melody card. Yeah, put it out there. Let's see, what does Lockdown do? Uh, destroy all inmates. Increase damage dealt by agents by one. You know what? Whoa. Uh, sure. Yes. I could see, like, 
man, this lockdown is a problem for us. Don't worry, I'll get rid of it. And he starts singing, and the singing shorts out the, like, the blocks lock down, and then all the criminals start getting out. It's like, you fool! What? Why? Why would you do that, fanatic? I'm sorry, I slipped. I was turned around. That's a lie, and you know it. You had a lot of hit points, okay? Listen. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to play that card. I I was going to play it because I know it hurts everyone, but it also hurts the... The, uh, the talisman. The, uh, talisman, and I would rather not do that. Makes sense, makes sense. Story checks out. Hmm. Yeah. That tracks. <laughs> makes sense to me, bird. You're gonna need to skip back to the play oh, card. Sorry. No, you're not. You'll do it again and you know it. Probably, but I'm still sorry. Oops, my my wow. my weapon slipped. Wow, I've never done what? anything to hurt you, knife. Why would you do that to me? My weapon also slipped. <laughs> it's like you also have a lot of hit points, fanatic. How dare you, block guard? We need that. Did he just hit our? No, because you have the, listen, Legacy, you've got the thing. I mean. All right, now, now have him take next evolution. I was like, oh, I should put out danger sense. That'll protect him from the environment. And then I'm like, wait, that's also a problem. Oh no, Hank Roy, don't worry. If if we were able to survive last time we played when we started when we were using the uh the freedom vibe to just oh, wait no, it was the Yeah, when when the um the Prime Wardens were beating the crud out of each other. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if <laughs> this is of all the things that could make us not talking to not talk to each other again, this is not the one. Yeah, this is not that thing. <laughs> Uh, we are also purposely trying to lose, so we're not just, you know, bad at the game. Yes, that, that is that is also a thing. I mean, it's a little both. <laughs> we may be bad at the game, but we are purposely trying to lose, so. Right. Magic deal is one target. No, I don't want that. Who needs hit points? That's actually a good point. Kinetic deals up to three targets, one irreducible radiant damage each. Kinetic until you targets double those. Okay, no. It'd be that meme. Task failed successfully. Uh, I'm just gonna skip. I don't know anything I need to play. Always radiant damage, because why not? Um They're right they all Man, everybody's got so many hit points. I'm gonna hit knife again. We have to make sure to get legacy's hit points down too, because yeah. Hi, Demona. This is why I can't have nice things, because you claw all over my furniture. Yeah. See, Hank Roy, let it not be said that we don't offer... Uh, mo modern problems require modern solutions. <laughs> Pirate in 20 minutes. How did we win? That's... I do ask that question sometimes when we play together. Let's be real here. Yeah, we're trying to do the Kismet Unlock, the Trickster Kismet Unlock. It says, 
Lose a game against regular Kismet in the block with at least Knife, Argent Adept, and Fnatic on the team. Over the course of the game, the Talisman must spend more full turns in hero play areas than full turns in the villain play area. So, so far it's been okay, but then this is about to happen. She's trying to- Well, this just looks like damage. No. Uh, do you want to redirect? Yeah. Uh, no, that's because no? okay. Argent Adept actually has more hit points. So, how many does Legacy have? Nineteen? Uh, no. Because yeah. we are trying to whittle down everybody's hit yeah, points. Yeah, we gotta get everybody down. Whoa! <laughs> Where is that coming from? I don't know. I think it's. Well, oh, hold on. Let's let's all learn together. Let's just do the old double click. <laughs> uh, at the end of the villain turn, Kismet deals one damage uh, for each lucky card in play. Then Kismet deals the hero target with the highest hit points. X psychic damage, where X equals nine minus the hit points of the talisman. I see, I see. I see. I mean, that's fine. We would like her to kill us faster, so this is... That is true. But also, she's going to get the talisman back next turn, I guess. Well, uh, we may be able to mess with that a little bit. I'm going to throw out Surge of Strength, I think. Sure. Uh, Galvanize it up. I understand why you're trying to lose now. Okay, thanks, Hank Roy. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um... Yeah. I already, like, cheatingly unlocked all the variants, you know, by just saying unlock, so, but I'm like, meh, let's try to get the achievements. Because why not? <laughs> Hold on a minute. It's fine, Demona. Just stick your claws right into my skin. That doesn't hurt. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I don't really have anything that... Let's see, weak heart deals up on psychic damage. Uh, reduced damage dealt by that hero by one, so let's get rid of that. Sure. Maybe that legacy ring, it could be able to uh, use that uh, folk or uh, evolution thing that he's got so that he could just soak that psychic damage without any problem. Yeah. Uh, I'll just skip. Uh, tell tell you what. What? If you play, uh, that sanctifying strike or whatever it is, and hit the um, deals each not here to one radiant damage. Basically, force the uh, oh, hit the okay. talisman again and force it back to her side because this won't be a full turn. And then use her either her base power or absolution to hit the uh the um the thing again. Oh with sanctifying strike? Right. Okay. Oh, so either then we can steal it or... steal it. And back then we can right away. Yeah. Yeah. Both of these will be uh non full turns, but again, it'll be a, basically a wash for both of us. I would rather turns that are Wait, is it better? Hey, cat dreaming. One target, three, so that would be plus one from Legacy, that's four. So four, and Knife will be able to finish the job. One target, one melee, one... Okay, so it's four, no matter what I do right now. Because she's right. got... Okay, so we'll just hit her with a sword, because that's always fun. If that other card were in play, that uh, Inspiring Presence were in play, 
then it would it... be plus two twice as opposed to just once. Right, so then the base power would be better. Right. This is just regular kismet cat dreaming. I, I don't know if you just answered that, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we're doing the, the achievement. We're trying to do the achievement to get like the unlock. So we're trying to lose. Uh... <laughs> With, uh... it says lose a game. The, the internet says lose a game against regular kismet in the block with at least Knife, the Argent Adept, and Fnatic on the team. Over the course of the game, the Talisman must spend more full turns in hero play areas than full turns in the villain play area. So, that's what we're doing. <laughs> oh good, because Trickster Kismet is brutal. <laughs> yeah. us murdering he's murdering ourselves pretty solidly did knife, yeah did knife just die oh no she's fine i, I saw the x over the agent of of uh phil yeah is knife isn't dead yet but she's hurt she doing she's doing a great excellent job knife excellent job whittling everybody down we appreciate you who's got the talisman now argent yeah argent's okay. a death casted. okay one down Okay, so basically we just have to die really quickly now, and then we'll... Yep. Okay, and that was one turn with it on our side. Uh, have cards, everybody. All right. It's just what I've always wanted. I know. Uh, here, galvanize everybody. Have fun. God, he did not get any decent... He didn't get any decent songs of any kind. Sounds right. <laughs> um... Okay, she can use her Divine Sacrifice and hit hero targets. Uh, you're right. Ooh, that would work great. I would like to hit Argent Adept. Wouldn't we all? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, and Legacy. And... Hit herself, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll hit Legacy. Oh, wait, don't hit Legacy. I can hit, she can hit herself, right? Yeah, hit herself. Yeah. Because Legacy can start taking people's damage, damage at any time. Yeah. <laughs> Should she hit herself again, you think? Uh, hit the Argent Adept. He's not really serving any purpose. I just, well, he's got the Talisman right now. Oh yeah, that's right. Jeez. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so yeah, hit, hit, hit herself, I guess. Yeah. You were thinking probably that Legacy still had it. <laughs> so. Yeah, probably, because Legacy is, you know, prone to actually contributing something to the effort. 
<laughs> Argent Adept. <laughs> Place card next to the hero with the highest hit points. Increase damage dealt to that target by one. Um, legacy, I guess. I'm eating this wacky ramen dish that uh, Mama Pirate made. Uh, oh, wait, no. Again, legacy. Liquid Asylum. Oh, goodbye, Legacy. We always loved you the most. Yeah. Uh, one hero may use a power? Yep. Fanatic. Fanatic. Should I hit Arjun and Depp, you think, this time? Yes, please. Okay. Do it. We're trying to lose on purpose. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> in case you didn't know. But yeah, I'm eating this wacky ramen dish. Um, I forget exactly what it's called. Oh, but she's going to hit herself because of the way that the, it's fine. All right. Cool. Well, now we just had, need Arjun Adept to die. That shouldn't be too right. difficult. I don't know if it's Adept or Adept. I don't know how to say it. I'm sure it's fine. I think they pronounce it as Adept, but yeah, yeah whatever, man. I think we've I think we did it. I don't think there's any possible way that she's had it for more turns. Cause she had it for like two at the beginning and then hasn't had it a full turn since, I don't think. I think this ought to do it actually. Fingers crossed. There it is. Aha! Achievement unlocked. Trickster, Trickster Kismet. Did you get it too? Uh, yeah. Or at least, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Nice. We did it, friends. <laughs> uh, to... no. We, we are not going to try and do that cat dreaming. We have beat Trickster Kismet in the past, though, because we've beaten yeah, we every have. villain at least once on normal... So. Yeah, at least on normal mode. Yeah. So, even in defeat, we are victorious. Task failed successfully. Yes. All right. Um I don't know. <laughs> Our poor guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, look. They knew the job was dangerous when they took it, Fred. They're like, no, we didn't. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. No, thank you on any of that. Yeah, 110% do not want. Uh, Let's get away from this wacky... Losing screen. Try again. Not even the losing screen, this music. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Well, I mean, I guess we could try again and just beat her to show her that we can. <laughs> we could. But I feel like that would just be a, a waste of everyone's time. I mean, maybe. So, I don't know. Do we want to try another one? Uh, yeah, Just off the top of your head, what else we got? Um, there's the two other, um, their, uh, villain unlocks, the Skinwalker Gloomweaver or the Heroic Infinitor, which we decided we didn't want okay, to do. Okay, uh, Infinitor, I don't have the patience for tonight. What's the Skinwalker Gloomweaver one look like? Um, one, defeat Standard Spite and Gloomweaver, which I'm sure we've done. done. And then two, there's two, uh, there's, there's an, there's an or. So either defeat Spite, Agent of Gloom, uh, or defeat Spite, Agent of Gloom, in... Rook City on his broken vessel side with zero cards under the safe house and at least five victims in play. That seems hard. Difficult. Yeah. What's the other one? Or be defeated by Spite, 
Agent of Gloom in Rook City on his Agent of Gloom side with no more than two drug cards face up. Spite must have destroyed also, at least five victims. Huh. That also seems pretty wonky. Yeah, so if we're not feeling up to it, we can just, I don't know. Let's see. At some point in the week, I, I guess I'm going to have to go back and, and look at uh, Spite. And see exactly what sort of tactics will be required to do this. Yeah, I know. I know, Cat Dreaming. That's why, uh, that's what the internet says we have to do. I'm referencing a guide that was on on the Steam. Someone did it, and I, and I love them for it, because it's made this so much easier than having to figure it out. Um, the knife rogue agent in a game with regular knife in the block have knife destroy five agents other than Warden Hopeful. Knife may not destroy Warden Hopeful. So she basically just has to beat up a bunch of other agents. Yeah, she basically has to fight the agents. That okay. Seems... I think we could probably mess with that. Yeah, I assume... That won't trigger till the game is over, because... I don't know. Probably not. Because it's like you would it wouldn't be able to trigger until it knew for sure that it you didn't have her kill the warden. Right. Warden Hufflepuff. Yeah. Uh, the hunted naturalist is win three games where regular the naturalist deals the final blow to the villain. Each different villain must be defeated while naturalist is in a different form. Um, we can just do oh, the God. knife one. Yeah, let's let's. All right. Well, wait a minute. Let's 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 put knife in there. Okay. And uh, she actually just has to beat up a bunch of agents in the block, correct? Yes. Where's the... like at least five or whatever. Yeah, she has so... to uh, destroy five agents that are not the warden guy. Right. Okay. So put knife in there. Uh, or do you want me to play her? I think I have to play her to get the achievement. Ballin, go ahead and take her. I did. I'll put... I'll play Naturalist and see if we can't just incidentally get at least another win for Naturalist. Yeah. I don't know if it counts if you do it, but, like, I mean, you could... I mean, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll just try to pay attention. That actually doesn't sound too tough. No. The... Some of the hero ones are pretty easy, like the Rook in Ra the Rook City Wraith was use the infrared eyepiece power twice in the same turn. That was like that was pretty easy. Yeah, that's super, yeah. Super scientific tachyon. Put five or more burst cards into the trash in a single turn. Like this is not not too complicated. Um let's see. Unlike the, like, Freedom 5 ones. Let's see. Conventional Wisdom says to put knife at the front, to put Legacy at the front because his buffs will affect everyone right off the bat. But I was just thinking as a way of perpetually reminding ourselves that Knife has to do the thing, as well as getting her opening uh, talking spiel going on, we'll put Knife at the front this time. Knife will get the front end. Yeah, Knife gets the front end. Although, from what I understand, Knife has gotten the front end and the back end oh, plenty of times. <laughs> uh, she's very active. <laughs> she's living the best life, is she what is. my understanding is. 
Okay, um... Live your best life. I don't know who we need to fight. I don't know who we should fight. I was thinking... I was thinking maybe choke point? Um... Yeah, I don't think we fought her in a very long time. Yeah, I was thinking either choke point or, uh... Embuscade, someone who generally isn't like. Choke points like hold my beer. Oh yeah, legit. That's gonna be a bad time. <laughs> She's like, watch what you say, peasant. Yeah. yeah. M metal serves my commands or some nonsense. What is? Behold the non-stop action. <laughs> okay, I'll just, I'll just pick somebody. I was trying to see if there was another, like, uh, achievement, like, symbol, but most a lot of them are like, defeat Baron Blade in this, in this city, or whatever. Yeah. I'll play Ra. Ra, Ra, Ra. I already forgot what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> what hope do you have? The metal in all things calls to me, and I answer with commands. Welcome. It's fair time for you to stand down. Thank you kindly. Change your feet. Change your feet. Change it. Go change it. You do. Help. But also, we love Scottish accents. The end. Bless me, bagpipes! <laughs> but this is fine. Life is like a hurricane in Dark Bird. What are we doing? Wait, choke point deals the hero character with the most cards in play for energy damage. Oh, cripes. Um, one non-character card from that hero's play area. Put it face down in the villain play area. Um, the, the Rosman? Because he can use his, his stick to heal himself eventually. That's what she said. I'm sorry. I, oh, oh, snap! <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I... It's um, I, it's it's a classic. Sorry, this is a family stream. Okay, um. Well, not maybe... after I started mentioning uh, nice front and back ends, but we're not gonna. <laughs> this is fine. You know who I should have brought? Um, Akash, or uh, yeah, Akash Thria, because then I could. Oh yeah, because we could have fought with the cards. environment. Yeah. Oh well. I guess if this doesn't go well, that's what we'll do next time. Yeah. Alright, um the first time. At the I... very least we can have uh we can set the naturalist up to punch choke point to death. Yeah. But uh... for knife, I would say just work on getting her equipment and stuff like that. Don't worry about her specifically attacking choke point with any of her cards. Save all of her big hits for the agents when they come out. Well, then I'll put out this prototype servo gauntlet situation. Do it. Make it happen, Captain. Excuse me. Uh, I don't think it matters. It's all the same. Our only chance is for you to punch her knife. The only way to solve this crisis is for me to become Superman 4, the quest for peace. <laughs> oh, 
Oh hey, sorry. Action! This is the this is the non-stop action you guys pay to see here. Is... Glued to your seats. Yep. Friends. Uh I guess I'll just play my staff. <laughs> well, wait, yeah, you mean your staff of raw. Okay. I like healing. Healing is a good time. Just gonna burn this lady. We listen, environment, could you like do something? Maybe play cards a little That's... faster. Reduce damage dealt to environment targets by one. Yeah, who's who's got two thumbs in is not playing that. That's, uh, um top two cards of any any two decks and put them back in Dover, that's another yeah, sound command order. you need. Do something! Do something! God! Uh, bestial shift. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the crocodile out there for now. I won't have him finish the game in that form. But for now. Okay, so agents are the people that she's beating up, not inmates, but. It doesn't say she can't beat up inmates. Exactly. Like... <laughs> but yeah. We can. But yeah, I think so. Everybody else can beat up the. Uh... Choke point. <laughs> Whoever, basically. Oh, whoops. Uh, it doesn't... I didn't realize. What is happening? One equipment card. Uh, this one, I guess. I said... Which, um... Okay, that was, that was me. I, I didn't click confirm. That's Edge on me. Of your seat action. Bro, that's my joke. I'll kill you. Too late. I already said it. I can't take it back now. There's no way. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Um, for the number result, you may redirect the damage to the villain target with the second highest hit points. That seems all right. Crisscross! Do hops, do hops! Yes, chat! You are right there for us, and I appreciate you. It's true. Um. One hop this time. Dun. Two hops this time. Dun. Four hops this time. Dun. And it just keeps going. I know. Where it's like nothing but hops, and it's like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> no, I would not like to destroy one of my ongoing cards. You guys, the cha-cha slide is my jam. Like, I pretty much will stop. If, like, I hear it, I'll stop what I'm doing, and I will run to it, and I will dance. The cha-cha slide. Brings me a joy I cannot express with words that sound correct. It'll bring you joy. Consume Pralosec. It'll bring you joy. If you go to a football sports game, you run out of chips, eat Prilosec. I guess I'll put out Living Con Flag. Living Con Flag and Butte Fire, all of these things are good options. Hollow sick is what you worship. Environment deck, get with the program.
I'm sorry, I keep eating my pizza, friends, and I'm trying to chew it away from the microphone because I know that's probably horribly annoying. So. Okay, so we got a block guard. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I guess Rock can do it. Increase energy damage dealt by knife by one. After this card is destroyed, you may play an equipment card. Uh, this seems good. Get out there. Hold on a second. I'm holding. Actually, I was going to suggest maybe take out that block guard with a wrecking uppercut. Oh, I'm fine with this. Like, wrecking uppercut followed by her base power. Just, uh... It's one fifth of the way there. I don't know. I'll take it. She's gonna wreck it. What are you doing? Why you hurt me, knife? We're co-workers. That's why I'm killing you. Have thought about that before you worked with me. Perfect. One down, four to go. Your choke point's gonna have Ra's entire deck. <laughs> Probably. Mm. Yeah, the, the cha-cha slide is to you as don't stop believing is to me, I guess. I didn't realize you were so, uh, that was such a big song for you. Well, at least it it was, um, that one time. Oh, all right. <laughs> but yeah, at least for that one year, don't stop believing. That was, that was my 100% my jam. Oh, hey, it's still my turn. Yeah, it is. Um, I. Um, yeah, there's a there's a number of songs that I. I enjoy. Uh, who am I kidding? I mean, I, I have plenty of songs that I like, but I do not need much of an excuse to dance. That's true. Cause you feel better when you're dancing. I do. Just trying to decide which of these abilities to use because they're kind of. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and save my. Oh, pff. I'm trying to dealing damage anyway, so that's fine. That's fine. I don't even care. Nobody cares. Speaking of nobody cares, I saw the uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie last uh, last weekend. And I'm going to advise everyone to see it because I really liked it and I hope it gets a sequel. The reason I said nobody cares is because that's something Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik says. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh... Okay, let's see here. Choke point deals each non-villain target two projectile damage. Select one equipment card in each hero play area. Put them face down in the villain play area. If no equipment cards are moved this way... Choke point DLZ. Okay, so choose for me. I feel like. Wait, what is? Is he just? Or is she just pulling? Oh, pulling one shots. Is that what's happening? I guess.
Oh, it shares a keyword with the revealed card. Okay, that makes sense. She's just taking all our stuff. I know. It's funny that you, like, not funny that you say that about the Sonic movie, but like, I, on Twitter, I keep seeing people that are like, oh, it's actually really good. And I'm like, I thought it looked really good just from the previews, even before they redid everything. So I just don't, I'm like, did, did you guys have, I don't know what everybody's like expectations were set at because I was like, it looks like it's going to be a good movie. And so people well, are like, I'm surprised. And I'm like, okay. Historically, ignoring certain the like, ignoring certain outliers video game movies have been have had a stigma attached like the super mario brothers movie it's I was got a cult to reference that as a successful movie okay i was gonna say it's got it's got a cult following um the mortal kombat movie people like for some reason um I the like street that fighter one. movie yeah. the street fighter movie was absurdly cheesy but you know cult classic again um the world of warcraft movie i loved that i i own that it a, that was a thing i know a lot um, of people didn't like it but i thought it was amazing when i saw dalaran i was like this is the best movie ever the silent hill movies the resident evil movies I mean, every one of the examples you can name, they do have like a cult following in some way, but there's this weird phenomenon where just like everyone believes that video game movies are terrible. And Rampage. <laughs> oh, Rampage. Rampage was the best video game movie. Wasn't there a Battleship one also? Yes, there was, although that wasn't a video game. Battleship is a board game. Tech, that's true. I believe, I believe mistakes were made. Oh, <laughs> uh, should I hit this inmate or should I hit her? Uh, just, just hit the um. Well, actually, hit her. Yeah. Because yeah, I got bored. And you do need to see it, Sprockets. It's so, it's so good. Like in a, in the worst way. But I mean, it's like I don't even. I think it's a good movie. Like, not a video game movie. But Clue is really good. Absolutely, absolutely. You're right. But yeah, maybe me. Maybe, uh, maybe people just think video game movies are bad. I don't know. But I thought it looked the Sonic movie looked really good to me. Like I said, uh, even even before they redid it, I was like, I think the story is going to be really good. So I don't know. That's just well, I, I we kind of had no reason to believe that was going to be anything but like a you know yet another cash grab. Right, but, but I, they I, went out of their way. To listen to like a bunch of fans who were like, that thing looks like the movie Cats in Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> form. Yeah, well, I just mean, and like, we do not want the trailer and like the cast and everything was really good, like everything except the fact that Sonic looked kind of terrible. <laughs> but like, right, aside Jim, from Jim that... Carrey. Let me, let me tell you, like the the original trailer, and in the days when the original trailer was all we had, uh, the comment section tended to err on the side of uh Jim Carrey's doctor reports like back problems from carrying the entire movie communism was just a red herring um do I uh I hit... just murder that just the murder inmate. the time craze what's his face but also Dover I was on Netflix recently and there's apparently a Dragon Quest movie that exists based on the fifth game. I was not. I, I was vaguely aware of this, but not that it was in the States. It, it just like Netflix was like, hey, pirate, you might want to watch this. And I was like, you don't know. Yeah, you know me this time. <laughs> so many times Netflix like we have we have these suggestions for you. And I'm like, you don't even know me. But it did. OK, fine. You win this round, Netflix, That's big brother. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. But, okay, I guess that's another thing I'm going to have to put on my Netflix watch list. Uh, the Dragon Quest movie. Yeah. Although I hear Dragon Quest V was outrageously depressing. Yeah. But I also 
understand that Violet Evergarden, which is an anime on uh, Netflix, is an effing masterpiece, apparently. So, I don't know. I guess that's another thing I'm going to have to look at. I like the two, because that was the, the fifth one was the Heavenly Bride one, if I remember correctly. And so okay. there's the main character, and then it's got her, Bianca, who's like the archer, the girl that's like his, the you know, girl next door kind of thing. And then right. I can't think of her name, but it's the one I like the look of better with the blue hair. Um, oh, and, God. And she's, uh, what? Oh, God. Oh, it's the warden. I can't. War, uh, knife cannot hurt him. Well, I mean, she could hurt him, but also. This card is destroy one equipment card. Um, okay. He doesn't have his other power out there. Jim Carrey, I have, um. I, like some of the things he does I think are really good and then other things I, I'm not a fan of his like the really really I don't know like you're not a fan of his dramatic roles no I like those like I like okay. stuff like liar liar and oh wait a minute yeah like dumb like, and dumber and, yeah, and Ace, Ventura. Ace Ventura pet detective I I can't get behind those. Sorry, Jim Carrey. Like, that's not my. That's not my jam. That's not. That's not my bag, baby. As yeah, I, someone I would get say. that. Hey, it's I my completely turn. understand. Um, I can't. Uh, so she can't kill Warden Hopeful. Uh, I'll just put out this flawless execution, I guess. Yeah, why not? And I'll punch. What is? Oh, finally, there's like an ongoing that I can use her base that power on. Yeah. That oh, she doesn't even have it anymore. Just kidding. Yeah, that's annoying. But I think she would also need to kill something first. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. There's nothing to kill, and I don't even have my card anymore. It's making that. That's fair. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, everybody's opinion. Everybody's got different tastes in movies, but that for me. Man, we've we've only killed one agent. I know that's because the once again, the environment deck is doing that thing where it's holding out on us. I know. Uh, but yeah, I. Jim Carrey. This is, uh, like this Jim Carrey is like. The, the mask Jim Carrey. Like, do you remember that ridiculous James Cameron, the Riddler Jim Carrey? Yeah. Because take the Riddler Jim Carrey and back it off a little bit. That's the Jim Carrey you're getting from this movie. surprised they haven't remade the Truman Show. Although they probably did and it was like a horror movie or something. I kind of... I've said this before and I'm sure I'll regret this the day it actually happens but I think it would be really cool if they redid the Clue movie. Not like as a, not as like as a remake with the same story. I mean if they just completely redid it. Do you know what I mean? Like not, not to like we're going to recast everybody in the movie and do the same movie, but with different actors like do there, there was a movie with Chris Evans recently that was looked like it was a murder mystery movie with a bunch and of knives out. In the house. Yeah. And I was like, is this going to be a clue remake? Because it looked, that's what it kind of looked like to me. And then it wasn't, but that's sort of what I think would be cool is to do like a complete remake of the movie, you know, that maybe was less, I don't know, just, just different. But with, they, they could even do, do you remember the, um, what was it, the Clue Masters Edition or whatever, and they had, like, Mrs. Peach and, like, different characters in it, you know? Like, they could do different things. And, uh, I think that would be really cool. But, you know. And an inmate. Nobody wants
I'll just skip her card play phase, I guess. I'm trying to save her, like, the wrecking uppercuts for, like, when we get... Uh, more agents. I feel like Choke Point's usually dead before she can play this many cards. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't even remember exactly what happens when, like... Like, she's just gonna keep getting more of these cards, and I'm not sure what they do. I uh, know. Um... Well, summon staff first. First thing. Um. I don't have any cards that destroy ongoing cards, I don't think. No. I feel like Naturalist had cards that That's upsetting. There we go. That's fine. Up. Oh. What? Never mind. I guess. What do you? What did you think? No, no, no. We're we're, we're fine. We're fine. Should I keep whittling away at Warden, or should I just get rid of this imprisoned rogue? I don't want to bother. It's gonna you. hit everybody, I think. Oh, Rydale's each. Oh, the whole time. That's fine. Perfect. Might as well take advantage of the um, ongoings while they're out there. Quote unquote, take advantage. Oh, well, we didn't have to do that after all. Oh. <laughs> How nice. Perfect. I'm glad that didn't get played when there was, like, a thing out there. What does this do? At the end of the turn, one face down card and the villain play are destroyed. Then Cho Point deals the hero target with the highest hit points and you project all the... Alright, well. When it's destroyed, does it go back into my... Okay, it looks like it goes right. back it into destroys, the... yeah. Yeah, good. So that's good. Okay, well, I guess I'll skip her card phase, because there's not really anything to do. And uh, I'll punch choke point, I guess. There's so many things happening. <laughs> Keep forgetting that I already lost the legacy ring. I'm sorry. Mm. 
Oh, I'm going to put my staff out. It's like I've already forgotten what we're supposed to be doing. I was just... We're, we need to killing kill agents that aren't showing up. <laughs> Knife needs to kill agents, and so this is fine. And then, in theory, Naturalist needs to deal the last blow in one of his three forms. There we go, Crafty Assault. It'd be great if I, like, play that now, but... <laughs> no. No for you. No playing cards you want for you. <sighs> Come on! You already have one of these in play. Why doesn't she have limited stuff? Yeah. Rude. Why do I have to play a card? Uh, whenever she- or when that thing got destroyed, it lets her play a card immediately. Oh, alright. Don't ask questions, it's a free card play. Well, it's funny, because I think that was the exact same thing that was destroyed, so... <laughs> it worked out well. Yeah, it's just another lockdown. Okay, well, kill the block, kill the block guard. Lockdown is in there again. I still use from What does this do? Increase damage dealt by age of one at the end of the round turn. If there are any inmates in play, destroy this card. Okay, great. Lockdown doesn't really do anything though. No, no, it doesn't. Well, that's fine. Uh, I'll just skip her card play, I guess. You could throw a wrecking uppercut her way. I'm, oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. No, You're saving, saving that. You're saving for stuff for agents. The agents, yeah. That are supposedly in there. Yeah, I... Come on, where's that next evolution thing? I need it. Here, have, um, maybe just Chuck and Butte fire out there. Um. The only reason I'm hesitant to do that is it's going to screw up knife. Because it's like increased energy damage dealt by knife by one. That's actually true. So that's why I've been... I, I mean, sure if I should do that. tactically, Imbued Fire deals all of her... It increases all of her damage by one. That's true. So it doesn't matter what she has out there. True. I mean... Hmm. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan of, of Imbued Fire. I don't really have a better plan. Just try having him use his base power on choke point. Because I would like to get rid of that augmented energy field. And I'm thinking his fire blast might be required for that, but 
she's also got all of this other like defense buffing stuff. So we're gonna have to put a little extra effort into hacking through it. Is base power or can I just base power? It's just so funny. There's so many things. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so those are gone, thankfully. Perfect. Come on. Stop it. Is this a... It goes half part of the villain deck. Each player must put... Oh, so choose for me, I guess, right? I'd say the fix was in, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you and I were in the same place. She just, like, has all of our cards. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, like, super concerned, because all of us have, like, base powers that can kill her, you know what I mean? But still. Yeah, it's, it's true. Oh, there's an agent in play! Yes! Uh, energy burn. Knife deals one target three energy damage. If that target has ten or more hit points, knife deals it two energy damage. Um, it does so not. Save that for choke point. Wrecking uppercut the filter agent. I am gonna do it. done and hopefully you can finish him off that focusing conduit blade use its power it'll destroy it but that just means that we won't have to deal with that shocking animation nonsense that's true bye Oh, two of five. Okay, two down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Man. I would like to have that um I'd li no, not that. I'd like to have the other thing, please. I'm just gonna skip his card phase. Sure. The next evolution would be great. I mean, you know, so that I could start soaking hits for uh, prefer people and not having to worry about... <sighs> not having to worry about things was nice. Do you have something... That can redirect damage to somebody else? I don't think I do. Okay. Like, I, I couldn't remember if he had a, like, if one of his cards let you, like, redirect the damage. Um... Here, uh, have, her, have him use Fire Blast. It'll probably not, it'll probably get soaked up by that augmented energy field, but it'll also destroy it. All right. Yeah. So she doesn't have her precious plus one to defense right now.
I mean, she has it, but that's her own buff. And we'll never be able to get rid of it because of, like, the 4,000 cards she has. Yeah. Oh, she has one of the environment cards in her, <laughs> in her thing, too. I feel like the team is like, come on, we could kill, we killed her a long time ago. Or incapacitated her. Prison Riot, great. Oh, come on! Now it's never gonna play the agents. Because now they're all in the discards. Uh... Well, in in good news though, all of the there the two that were in the discards are gonna get shuffled back into the deck now. Yeah. Ugh. God, this is annoying. I wish it were like um I wish it were like Lock Capitan or Yeah, I wish it were like Lock Capitan where you could get rid of those cards just by hitting her a whole bunch. Well, either way, now we gotta deal with Char, because he's gonna... he's gonna be dealing with four damage every environment turn. Yeah, Rock, keep doing your thing. <laughs> Ironically, Char dies getting burned up in a fire. <laughs> That's true. More like a Char Mark now. I was like, ooh, this looks like a good time to play Scorched Earth. Oh, this looks like fun. Kind of low. Bet. I mean, if we Yeah, kill we should her, probably stop. Yeah, we could probably stop hurting her for a while. Because. Yeah. Maybe the environment deck will come through for us. Locked down again. Do you think that block card is a agent? That's actually not a bad thing to find out. Let's see, agent, 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 agent. I'll be darned, it is. Is it or, wait, Hoffle, it, though? Yeah, it is. It's Warden Hoffel. Oh, so then we can leave him. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because she can't... Have fun. He's un unhelpful to the situation anyway. Perfect! Have fun, Warden. <laughs> have, enjoy your break. Um. Oh, she healed. Yeah, yeah, she did. She was at 10. Yeah, she played a card that lets her heal. When this card is destroyed, you may draw one card and play one card. Power knight deals one target, heal a challenge, and then... Eh, I'll play this. How much damage is it going to do to her? I... Have I made a mistake? No, just three. That's fine.
Oh, I have to remember that Naturalist has to kill her. Or incapacitate her. Put up to three cards in the environment deck trash on the bottom of the environment deck. You may do draw as many cards as you move this way. Oh, that's something to keep in mind for later. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna skip skip. Uh, sure. Not a lot. Not a lot he can do that's not burning stuff. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> true. Ra's like, I, mean, I have hey. one. I have one thing I'm good at. A major league pitcher basically only has to do one thing, but he gets paid a lot to do it, so... <laughs> True. Come on! <laughs> hey, Mr. Tom. And there's this nonsense again. Mr. Tom, you're awake so late. So I'm eating pizza. It's lovely to see you, though. Oh, Char, why are you back? Hmm. Go back to murdering Char, I guess. I mean, maybe not with a reckless, maybe not with a wrecking uppercut. Yeah. Just like throw amplified combatant out there, maybe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, oh, it's not gonna hurt her because of her thing. Yeah. That's fine. Just keep hitting them. I mean, I, I feel like Rob's got a couple of things to, a couple of matters to address with Char. I know Rob's like, let me at him. How's the multiverse going? It's going all right. We're trying to get this a specific achievement, but the environment deck is not. We need to kill five. This the, the knife character. We need her to kill five agents. We've killed two. And the environment deck is, like, not cooperating. <laughs> we could pretty much, I think, finish this fight. Whenever at, we want it. At any time. Um, but... I don't have, um, I don't have Roz galvanized going right now because, uh, I hooked him up with anti-projectile damage. That's fine. So that he could start preventing that. Yeah, I don't, wait. Raw deals one target, three fire damage. What is this? Inferno? Yeah, whenever Chopin would be dealt five or more damage, prevent that damage this turn. Um, yeah, that's something we got rid of with this fire blast before. I don't think we have the wherewithal to do it again right now. He might... Well, he has... Hold on, let's let's see. I think it's... Okay, yeah. Uh, Inferno isn't going to do it just yet. Okay. Well, I, I guess a little I thought... bit more buffing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I thought um, with the buffs it would do five damage, but I guess yeah, anyway. Play hard. I'll just um... Trying to There it goes. It's almost 3 a.m. Mr. Tom, why are you like... Um, maybe yeah, I'll... what in the name of God are you doing, Mr. Tom? <laughs> I'll uh, Scorched Earth, I guess. 
It's not gonna do a lot, but... I would like to do damage, and I don't have, like, a lot. Okay. Making a music video. I guess I can- I guess I can understand that. <laughs> it's like, well, I can't- can't fault you for that. Goodbye, Char! Again. Burned by fire. Again. <laughs> Done in by his own... Hoisted by his own petard, if you will. That's the one. Is it a music video about ties? <laughs> I, I, there, I always support tie things. Really, I mean, I support, I support all things that you do, but also, you know how I feel oh, wait, about your tie wait. videos. Wait, wait, I did something that I didn't want to do. Story of my life. Let's get back to, yeah. That's cool. I guess it can't be all ties all the time. The hell it can't. <laughs> Hold on a second, let me see if... Nope, that... Uh, that friggin... Once again, play a card. Oh, sorry. I was hydrating, and... Uh... Nah, don't worry about it. It's, uh... I'll play this Predator's Eye. Then... Ah, dang it. Last time. Use a power. God. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so eager to get through this that I am making plenty of mistakes. All right. Now. Proceed, environment. And keep playing things but that... But also please give us an agent. That's not an agent. That is the opposite of an agent. Yep. <sighs> She's gonna take my staff again, because that's aggravating. Look at Legacy tanking like a pro. Legacy's just sta literally what it do what it's doing on that Fortitude card. We're just standing there ha taking the hail of bullets. It's just like, what else you got? <laughs> That's the one. Uh, I guess I'll just put out her this thing, even though it'll probably like, just get eaten at some point. Yeah, it's true. But it's an extra thing to potentially do damage with if we ever get another agent. Come on. Friggin' environment deck. I know. Well, we learned valuable lessons about not bringing Akash Surya with us. Yeah. We, we could still, you know, pull this one out. It's just a matter of it taking like a half hour longer than it needed to. That's, that's the truth. Uh, I'll just skip, skip. That's about all okay. I can do. Unless I have a summon staff, which it does not appear I do. So, fine. Oh, good. There's Speaking of summon staff, I found it. And Blazing Tornado, I love that. Huzzah! Though, there's nothing I can hit right now, but that's fine. Okay, let's get back to his play a card and um, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
I have a feeling that... Hold on a minute, let me just... Oh my god... I know, I know! Let's just start destroying all of Legacy stuff, because just in case she has eaten all of his Legacy rings. Okay. Don't worry, Legacy has still got this. Yeah. Legacy's like, I got it, it's fine. <laughs> Legacy, whatever, Liberty Justice, are we done yet? <laughs> A little, a little bit, Mr. Tom. Not quite. I mean, it's here. Do do the uh, conduit blade thing again to get rid of shocking. Yeah. yeah. I was. You, I you're picking up when I'm laying down. Already on it. Don't you worry. On it. This is still in. Oh, you have you have summoned staff now. Ah, uh, yes, we'll do that. If you have any left in the deck, anyway. We'll learn. Yeah, just... <laughs> Huzzah! There are no staff in Kakar's and Ra's deck. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Okay, at least they're in his trash. Right. Um, guess I'll play his staff then. It's probably gonna get eaten, but it's fine. Just can't get the staff these days. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. I say try and. Okay, I... no. Wait. I would say don't hit her. Yeah, I don't know why I did was thinking. Well, I, considering how many buffs we should technically have, it seems feasible that we should be able to like hit her with the five damage and get rid of that augmented energy field. But no, we'll have to wait until he has another one of those um, flame fire blasts fire in play blast situations. Assuming they're not yeah. in her, uh, what do you call it? On her side of the playing field. <laughs> I feel like this is a game of a cat playing with a mouse. But who is the mouse? I feel like that's us. And the cat is the environment deck. I love how we can't even see choke point anymore. I can't even see the earth anymore. Thank you, God. Okay, our self repair. No, don't! Don't! Oh my god. <laughs> that would have been so horrible. Please don't. You could maybe not, please? Oh my god. 
Okay, well... I'll tell you what, the only thing Choke Point is choking right now is my patience. That's the three! Okay, perfect. What did she do that that hit the agent? It must have had something to do with like the lowest hit points. Yeah, likely. At the start of the villain turn, if there are no face down cards in the villain play area, choke point flips. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Hey, there's a legacy ring. How exciting! I, I, I'm, I'm a fan. I know. I mean, granted, like you said, she's probably gonna steal it next turn anyway. But like the turn after I play it anyway, I mean. You want some cheese with that wine? I meant. Look off, and here comes a car. Oh god. I'm just. I'm just gonna play a blazing tornado. Why wouldn't you, right? Why wouldn't you? Over halfway. I know. We just need two more. Uh, skip. We have. We have hit. We have seen the top of the mountain. Just skip it. Skip it. Oh no. Don't mind me just knocking stuff on the floor. Ah, oh, dang it. Play card. I keep forgetting. You did skip back. Yeah, the, but you uh, can't do. We I can't do that thing that I was gonna do. <laughs> you can usually see the tops of mountains from far away, though. You're right. We're doing it the hard way. <sighs> you did it! I did. All right, environment deck, don't let me down. Don't let me down! As they say in the song. It, um, did in it, fact. It, it did let us down. Blindfolded mountain climbing. <laughs> Hello, the Grey Lord. Oh, man. We just, please give us agents. That's all I need in my life. Friend Punch, at the start of your turn, knife may deal one target four melee damage. If she deals damage in this way, destroy this card. Power. Knife deals one target one melee damage and one energy damage. Seems like a good card to put out there. Seems legit. Murder this inmate, even though he's... Ha not helpful to the goal of killing five agents <laughs> it still felt murder good. still felt good makes us feel better makes me feel really like does. a big man isn't it brandon that's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah he is is that when they're, they're, like, they're i it... think it's when they're telling him about how the the memento style movie Oh, yeah, is yeah, backwards, yeah, backwards and bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sucks. <laughs> this. Get it? That's backwards for this. Sucks. Okay. Um, I'll just skip, skip, I guess. This is... I'll put out Wrathful Gaze. That seems like a good one. Done. 
Wrathful Gaze? That's a good one. Deep Blue Sea. A shark ate me. I know. Come on, environment deck. Stop holding out on us. I know. Like, at this point, it's kind of like... I just want to end it, but also, like, we've come so far. <laughs> we've gone so... Ah, never mind. I don't remember the words of that song. I had the, the Frozen Oh song. my god! It's an inmate, isn't it? Even worse! No! Yep. Oh my gosh. Basically, back to the beginning again. <laughs> Why? Why are you like this environment deck? There's so many agents in there. How do they not keep? How is it possible we've only had three played plus the warden? I don't understand. Why do you hate us, game? I don't know, man. Um, I don't, don't want to do this. No. Oh my god. It's 9.05 now. I know. Just tell me when you're ready to... If and when you're ready to call it and just have... The naturalist murder her. I guess it's kind of up to you since Ugh. let's let's see what the environment deck does this time sure if it doesn't give us another agent this turn um i guess we could if if naturalist can do 13 damage or if we want oh naturalist to... can't do that by himself he would need help okay like we need to commit the from the beginning of the turn we need to commit to murdering her. Well, let's see what the, let's let's see what the uh the deck does then. Yeah. <laughs> that feeling oh when God. we learn the block has gone fully automated jobs for agents, right? Well, maybe because the wardens out of commission, they're all slacking. Oh, wow, out. you're right. They what have we done? They probably just went home. <laughs> they're like <laughs> warden warden left us. What have I got? Anything exciting? I don't know. Man, the living conflict, not living conflict, return, uh, drawn to the flame is not limited. So I could in theory, like, do that. Not, not that that would help now, but like, we could use it twice if I put it out there. I'm just gonna skip, skip. Do it. Actually, no, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll kill her, and then, then why wouldn't will you we be? be? <laughs> then what of me? If um, if we assuming. The environment deck's gonna let us down. Um, we'll bring either like Akash or someone that lets us control. Yeah. Uh, the the environment deck a little bit. Yeah. That I feel like we're learning valuable lessons about like if we need specific things, we need to bring, you know, Parse or, um, was it, was it Visionary? Yeah. Like. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. So yeah, this is, let's just call it. I say, in your face, environment. Yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll just end this. Although, and at least, wait, what? although, this means that there's probably near only agents left in the deck, since all the inmates You're are actually about right, because about... Prison Riot just got played. Right. Okay. Wait. 
Let me just double check yeah, here. Yeah, what's in the... Oh, no, there's one more prison riot in there. Okay, there's four agents. Char. The... Uh, the force field thing, which is a nuisance. Prison riot lockdown. You know what? Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, knife deals each target one energy damage. Knife may deal any target dealt damage this way and additional energy damage. All right, that seems good. Get out there. Goodbye. Goodbye. Too bad it can't be have killed agents because I got this. Or uh, inmates. Yes, I would like to. Uh oh. I'll hit her. Oh, do we have to hit everybody? Yep. Oh, well, sorry. Uh sure. I'm sorry. I, I didn't read all of the words. No. And my legacy ring dies. Oh, well then let's undo that. Let's undo that. I thought I didn't realize it was going to do like that bad things. It, it everything does bad things. Yeah, reading is the worst. Yeah. Look, if we wanted to read, we wouldn't be playing video games, all right? Yeah. Um, okay. Well, is there anything else I have instead that can... Knife deals up to three targets, one melee damage, and one... Let's do that one. That's the one. <laughs> there we go. That's better. This is kind of what I meant to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the pictures are for, right? I know, right? Perfect. Done. Yeah, that's the ticket. That's what I meant to do. And, uh, for good measure, I could just punch her. Why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. There you go. Oh, hey, that card I can't play. <laughs> awesome. Oh, right. Hmm. All right, you know what? Hold on. Let's go back to his player card. Oh my, ow. Oh, fire it. Okay. Okay, hold on. Wait. Let's try this one more time. Oh, ow. Yeah, that hurt. Poor legacy. Okay, let's...
You should write a letter of complaint to the deck. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be in the block because that's where the agents are. Well, supposedly. Yeah, what we've been told. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all like. The the warden is hey fire blast that's good to have. Yeah, the uh, warden's gone. So they're all like hey the warden's gone. Let's uh. They're all just hanging out in the break room. <laughs> they keep having all these like prison riots and they're like what's going on out there? I don't know. Game's on. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Is Nimble Gazelle for me playing Hyperactive Senses? Reveal the top two cards of any two decks and put them back in any order. You may discard the top card of any two decks. So I think I've just eliminated the problem. Oh gosh, I hope so. The alarm is really yep. annoying. Turn the TV up some. It's probably nothing. <laughs> Both prison riots are in the discards now. Okay, so hopefully... So now they can't pull that stupid nonsense on us this time. Okay, hopefully, fingers crossed. And now we just have to worry about not killing Choke Point. Yes. Killing two more agents, and then killing Choke Point. Yes. So lockdown, that does nothing. I said... Uh, no. Don't do that. Uh, I'm gonna skip skip, I guess. Please do. Hey, that card I can't use. Actually, actually wait, 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 wait. What? Okay, go back, go back to your turn. I need you to get rid of that legacy ring. Normally uh, I would say no, but I need you to get rid of it because it's, like, gonna be damaging us. Ugh. Nobody wants that. I'm sorry, Legacy Ring. Wait, what? Oh, Heroic Interception! What the... Okay, fine. We'll let Ra deal with it later. Okay. So, yeah, just do what you did last time. Skip, skip, I guess. Or... Just do what you did before I told you to do the other thing. No, 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 I know. I just... I couldn't remember if I had already skipped my play a card phase or whatever. All the back fist strikes so hard that it destroys the ring. <laughs> oh, man. Um, if I f fire blast, will that destroy this? It'll get rid of that augmented energy field. But it won't hurt her? Right. Okay. I'll do it. It shouldn't, yeah. anyway. Perfect. Uh... Too skip. awesome. Skippy skip. Now we just have to worry about staying alive. Staying alive, staying alive. Stayin alive. <laughs> I feel pretty confident, which is, you know, the first sign of 
not victory, probably. <sighs> well, at the very least, uh, Knife and the Naturalist need to stay alive. Yeah. That's all that matters, really. I know, I know. He just keeps coming back. Oh, He's coming back for more. They throw that overcharged null shield out there. Where is it? Oh. That's fine. That seems like What good really idea. sucks is that she's about to cycle through her deck, so. Oh, yeah. We need some takedowns or whatever. Yeah, for real. But Legacy can't really afford it. To damage. damage himself, no. Uh, I think... I think this is the best way to go, maybe? Yeah. There we go. I'm like, why is this not giving me my bonus stuff on it? There we go. Does he really only have the one legacy ring in the entire deck? That's annoying. I think he has two. At least two. Oh yeah, you're right, and they're both in his discards. That's special. Just murder Char, please. <laughs> Ra's like, finally, something to murder. Like, Ra just keeps getting destroyed, and they're not Ra. The Char keeps getting destroyed, and then it's like, he keeps coming back, and he's like, this time I'm gonna... <laughs> Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit choke point. No, don't worry about it. I think it's it. okay. It, yeah. I'm just not gonna hit her again. That would be bad. Uh, Blazing Inferno. Blazing Tornado. Here we go. Dorm Dormormu. Dormammu. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Dormimer. He went an agent bar with other ring. Maybe. Uh, do you want to draw a card? Uh, that's fine. Okay, now I'm starting to get paranoid. Maybe we shouldn't have allowed the... You know what? Let's... I hate to do this. Let's skip back and make sure that choke point doesn't get hit because those agents are going to be dealing her damage. I don't want to accidentally have the agents kill her. Yeah, that would be the worst. Okay. Um. So yeah, we have other ways of dealing with Char. Like Ra has a library of ways. Um. And even if he doesn't finish him off, the uh, naturalist can. I just, I'm spoiled for choice is kind of the situation. Just do anything. It's nine, it's almost 9.30. I'm sorry, you don't yell at me. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just, I'm, facts, facts, you know.
you put your glasses back on and face the fact. This is the first time Ra has not murdered him. <laughs> He's like, ha ha! One more second and I will get a turn. Now it's time for a Zoidberg song. When I was two, there was a title. Aww. And then friggin' naturalist just comes along like Pac-Man. <laughs> I'm not yelling at you, I'm just shouting with authority. Yeah, yeah, listen to the Grey Lord over there. It's totally different. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like oh yelling God, it's with style. Agent. OMG! Don't you... Oh my God. What does she do? Dorn. keep doing that almost murders them every time? Okay, that was that empowered self-defense card that she has. Where is that? Uh, well, she she played it. Oh, okay, well. It, it was it's the car. She played it, and it went away. It's fine. So, um, it's fine. Okay, this is number Murder four. Murder him. This is number four. I, I've been keeping track. One more. Just have to fight one more, guys. So wait a second. Wait a second. What is the exact wording on that on that thing? Uh. In a in a game with regular knife in the block. Have knife destroy five agents other than Warden Hoffel. Knife may not destroy Warden Hoffel. Knife may not destroy Warden Hoffel. So yes, that has not been a thing. That has not happened. Correct. Hoffel just got... He just got dead somehow. Yeah, well we... Yeah, we killed him, I think. I'm not exactly sure how he ended up on her side of the thing, but you know what? Hey, it's fine. You know what? We don't need to. We don't need to worry about that. Tripped and fell, tripped and fell on his own shears. Something like that. We had to beat them to death with their own shoes. <laughs> Get Daddy the bat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's finish him off. <laughs> Oh my god. O M M F -ing G. This might be it, everybody. Select one. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I literally don't care. It's fine. I was gonna say, if she played that card that, like, killed an environment target, or killed all environment targets, I was gonna be so mad. Confirm. <laughs> yes! We have been waiting for this. I know. Now I'll play that, uh, incidental contact card, I think. It's gonna hurt everyone, but it's not gonna is it, matter. Is it gonna kill Legacy? Uh... No. Wait. No. No, it will not. I hope not. Or wait a, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I was getting a little saucy. Okay. Sorry about that. I forgot, like, that... That overcharged null shield, a, a bunch of others. I, I, I'm not sure... Oh, reduce the damn. Okay, well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Everything's fine. Just wrecking uppercut the stupid filter officer and be done with it. Of, of Prime Puncher. Yeah, sure. Him, it, the thing. Whatever. This person. Okay, and that's five. Oh my god! <laughs> We've done it! Oh, 
that was a li <laughs> that was way harder than it should have been. All right, now we just worry about murdering choke point with our good friend the naturalisto. Yes. All right, so um. Yeah, like I mean. Okay, no, I'm, I, I, I don't want to deal Go that right much ahead, damage. And then I'll just Go. skip, I'll skip with, uh, Ra. If okay, I don't think there's going to be an extra five damage anywhere, so confirm. It's like seven, twelve. What? <laughs> and just in case, no projectile damage. Oh, man. And then just skip. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ra's like, but why? He's like, uh, you know what? You've been killing Char this entire game. <laughs> All right. So you're in your gazelle form. This should do it. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. What? Did you not get the... Oh, no, 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 no. I, of course I didn't. But you have to do th three different... With all three forms. No, I mean, did you get... Did you get knives? Or the, the other one, the... Yeah, we got it already. Oh, wait. I, I didn't see you get the achievement. Yeah, it triggered as soon as we killed that fifth agent. Okay, all right. Wow. Okay. Oh my god, I got a bit of a... <laughs> I got one of those attacks. I'm so sorry. No, yeah. it's okay. I should have been paying more attention yeah, to the, the stream screen. Chat can attest. We got it. Okay. We got it. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Calm like, down. Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. <laughs> See, Mr. Tom saw it. Mr. Tom 25 okay. saw it, so it's fine. Good. So, I guess, since it's so late, we could probably end the stream right now. And then next time we'll worry about uh, Rhino Naturalist putting the kibosh on somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I should bark this is done. That was that was significantly more difficult than it should have been. That was... Uh, you're, you were right about Akash. Like, we should have... Yeah, well, we didn't know, liked. and now we do know. We'll never need to use that information. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, well, let's outro this and uh, send send us all on our on our merry sleeping way, or wherever. I'm, I'm not sleeping yet, let's be real here. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. Pirate makes terrible sleep decisions. Comrade. I was checking something. It's fine. I guess I should go back. Well, I mean, Mr. Tom, that is up to you. I feel like that is a solid choice, considering it is very, very late by you. Yeah. Uh, by this point, it's early now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Or just, you know, keep staying up. You know? That's fine. That's... What are we gonna do? I mean, maybe, I... like, you'll hit that weird wall? Yeah. Like, I stayed up at, a, at, at an anime convention once for, like, 52 hours, and I didn't recover for several weeks. Yeah, that was a terrible idea, Dover. Don't ever do that again. Hey, look. <laughs> I'm not here to tell you that it was a good idea, but it did teach me a valuable lesson, which I am now imparting unto you. Use that information freely, go forth, and conquer. <laughs> You've been on deck with Pirates Heavy Dover. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, come back Saturdays, but not next Saturday, I don't think, uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for more of this situation. Whatever this was. <laughs> First of all, Mr. Tom, no, you fool! Yeah, 
Yeah, don't ever follow Dover. That's a terrible. That's a terrible plan. One hundred and ten percent, except on um, except on um, Twitch. You can follow me there. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, if you want more hand exciting hand lava programming, probably at a much earlier time, tune into this channel at Tuesdays at seven p.m. Eastern time. Will you find hand lava? John, sometimes Jeremy, and sometimes I feel like they have other people on their show, don't they? Like this, like this week, uh, didn't they have somebody else? Maybe. Uh, know. but uh, what uh, for join them for Sentinels, One Deck Dungeon, Aeon Zend, uh, the new discussion of their newest game, Spirit Island. Uh, they they do stuff. Uh, Thursdays at seven. Stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thursday at 7 p.m. Dive deep into strategy with our very own Lou Dolphin on Dolphin's Dive. Uh, and Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Zach from another Letdown Media. Tales from the Archive, a show in which he uses the game of Sentinels of the Multiverse to tell some fun and exciting stories about Sentinels of the Multiverse. Uh, if you would like to see more of me, Pirate Savvy, you can find me on my channel, twitch.tv slash Pirate Savvy, and you can otherwise find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Pirate Savvy. I, um, I, I will be streaming a very short stream tomorrow, um, which obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll have missed it, and I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. You should also be watching Zach tomorrow anyway, but it's, uh, I'm doing a fundraiser in the month of March. I'm not going to get into it here. Uh, but if you would like to know more about that, you can either watch the VOD, uh, from yesterday, from this, my 23rd, February 23rd, uh, stream, or, um, just know that starting in March, I will be streaming every day for fun things. But anyway, or for, oh, not, I guess it's not fun things, but it's going to be a fundraising event situation. So, um, yeah, but yeah, so come check, check me out as Strong Brad says. That's for a good cause. As Do that. Cause. That's the one. And even if it were for a good cause, go check out a stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, I also I also stream too. If you don't have salt in your life, uh, uh, Twitch Nudova Port TC stands for Nudova Port Trade Commission. It means absolutely nothing. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Sentinels in the Multiverse was created by Greater Than Games and adapted to digital. If you're looking to pick up the super fun game for yourself, Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, PC, Mac, Linux, via Steam, and as always, good old-fashioned analog cardboard Nick. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. I like how you always say .com like Homestar Runner. Something.com. <laughs> uh, all right. Homestar10.net. That's the one. It's .com. <laughs> uh, we gotta, we gotta keep the the fandom alive. <laughs> it's true. It's it's true. Um, but anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Um, I don't think we're gonna be streaming next week because Mama Pirate is visiting me, and uh, I don't know what what the plan is. Um, on what is next? Well, no, not not boo for Mama Pirate. Boo for us not being here. Yeah, I actually. I almost kind of wish we were streaming next week because it's leap day, but whatever. Well, I, I don't know. Again, I, Mama Pirate and I, I think we do have a small plan that day, but we might be back by then. I don't know. As of right now, we probably will not be, um, but we'll figure it out before then. But the plan is to probably not be because I don't, I don't want to, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what our plans are is the situation. So we'll maybe have a better plan once she gets in and uh by like wednesday or thursday so and then if i mean if dover if you've already got other plans and stuff we won't have to do it anyway for next weekend yeah for the 29th at this point i have no plans okay well we'll figure it out um i i told i think i already told krista we weren't streaming so um if that changes we'll figure it out then so but uh assume we're not <laughs> and uh We'll uh, see you again on the, uh, definitely on the 7th of March. <sighs> Do the thing! So yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful night. 
Uh, oh, goodbye, Mr. Tom. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, have a lovely rest of your morning, afternoon, wee hours of the morning. <laughs> and, you people uh, have a wonderful night. We'll uh, see you again real soon. Thanks for hanging out with us through this adventure. For this overly long, <laughs> yet successful, to our credit, <laughs> exactly. endeavor. Yes. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks Peace. Thanks for being here. Bye.